Good afternoon, everybody, and if I may say so, friends of the observatory. And very welcome to this event, for which we have once again gotten this beautiful premises here, and I would like to thank you with Liebe Frau Schretter for having made this possible. Now, um, I think Bavaria has a really strong interest in the audiovisual industry, and they have maybe, in the spirit of convergence, also understood that the audiovisual sector is not just Bavaria, it's not Germany even, it's Europe. I think the, the fact that we have this event here in the midst of Brussels proves and makes it explicit that our topic today, as many topic, topics of the observatory, are truly uh, European and that they have their important place here and with this audience. Now, um, you have already heard about the observatory a little bit from um, Madame Schwetter. I just would like to add one or two things. You've also had Moroccan food, that makes it a little bit easier. The observatory has member states. We have 40 member states and the European Union is a member. And we are, as European Audiovisual Observatory, a part of the Council of Europe and therefore based in Strasbourg, which is again very important then for us that we find uh, places like this where we can come to you, to Brussels, to give you what we have to give and why we exist. And this is information. So that's in a way the goal also of today, but we want to do a little bit more today because as you heard we are celebrating 25 years of existence of the observatory. <coughs> so we thought a little bit, um, the topic also has to be a bit wider, a bit more encompassing. Well, maybe not the next 25 years, but still looking a little bit forward, looking also a little bit backwards. And so for us the special topic today, the convergence again, is not an, an accident, it's not born out of no other ideas, but rather to the contrary. This is a topic that goes across branches, across various legal fields, and I think one should and could maybe approach it almost a little bit philosophically. Well, why, how? I maybe want to make a, a little comparison with what do we mean, why convergence again. Just imagine the evolvement of the artificial industry a little bit like a chemical um, reaction. You know, chemical reactions. I don't know how many of you had this and enjoyed that at school. I did. You have all the ingredients, you put them together, some color comes out, some steam, some maybe explosion, and woof, you have something new. Now, if that is so, and if the audiovisual industry has also these ingredients, and there are lots of them, you have content, you have the professionals, you have the technology, you have the audience, um, you also have services, you have financing that goes in. You mix it all up, woof, something gets out. Now, what happens if you change a little bit the composition of these elements that you put in? Well, that's a very interesting question. You can put in other components, you can remove some, you just change the proportion, you shake it well, and what shakes the audiovisual industry in particular is, of course, the new technology, it's, but at the same time also the creativity, it's the interest that people have, it's the ideas. And all of this works on this chemical process like acceleration and so the product might be very different. Whenever you do this experiment, you get possibly another result. So what, if you think in terms of this and try to connect that to convergence, it's our attempt to describe a little bit where we are today in this process. And we want to share with you what we observe from an economic viewpoint, from a legal viewpoint, and then actually it's up to the panel that we'll have thereafter to a little bit analyze what we have observed. And I think you're very welcome to also participate in this analysis. Now, before I give then the floor to today's moderator, which is my dear colleague, Maya Capello, who heads the Department for Legal Information at the Observatory, and who will then later introduce the speakers and the panelists. I just need to remind you of a couple of small things. 
namely, we have to clear this room at 3 o'clock. And please help us. There are other people who want to benefit from the hospitality of the Bavarians. So please, if you want to talk, we can also do that outside uh, later on. And then, if you like to have others participate, uh, the hashtag for today, if you like to, to tweet, it's hashtag OBSBRU2017. And if you really need Wi-Fi, but you might not need it unless you want to check a fact immediately, which is important, then it's exclamation mark Europe 1, 2, 3. <coughs> With this, I leave it now to Maya and to you, and I hope you enjoy our little chemistry of today. <laughs>